Excellent. Okay, here we go. Thanks for tuning in to the Rexer Show. Today we're going to take a look at running Golden T4 2006. Uh, we're going to show you how to get that running. Then I'm going to show you a couple tips on how to get your trackball a little better. And I'm going to ask you guys what trick uh, tips do you know for getting a trackball to work better? And maybe put them in the comments and help other people. So first, we're going to take a look at the ROM and uh, the BIOS and uh, show you how to set that up. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, get the correct ROM. And uh, the difference between Golden T4 2006 and the other, uh, say, 2000 or 99, is this is a CHD type ROM. You need the CHD file as well. I'm going to go into my arcade folder here. And first, I'm going to start with the ROM. It's GT406.zip. And here's what it looks like. This is the one I'm using right here. So you can take a look at that and make sure your ROM looks like that. Then you're going to need the CHD file. Now, the CHD file needs to go in a separate folder called GT406. Now, you might see a folder when you download this that says CHD file in GT406-CHD. Get rid of the dash CHD. Make sure you name your folder just like this. When you open it, you're going to see GT4 complete and take a look at the properties on this. You'll see it's 1.1 gigabyte. And that's the file I'm using with this ROM. Now you might find a, a different uh, ROM and CHD file that's used diff uh, for a different maybe emulator. Mine works with LR MAME, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, but on top of this, the next thing you need is the BIOS. Okay, so we're going to go right to our BIOS folder. And uh, again, I want to preface this with I'm running this on Ubuntu on a PC. You cannot run Golden T4 2006 on a Pi or anything else that uh, is not, not say, of PC strength. I tried on my Latte Panda and it ran, um, or Latte Panda Alpha, it ran really well, but I had some audio issues and I didn't feel like messing with some of the audio settings in order to get it to work better. Now, we're in the BIOS folder. We're going to take a look at iteagle.zip. This is the BIOS you need to run this, and this is what it looks like right here. You're going to want to get the file that looks like this uh, for your BIOS for IT Eagle. Now that you have all those set up, what you're going to want to do is obviously get a trackball. I have a, a USB trackball because it plugs right into the PC, and I plug that in before I actually turn on the PC. They tell you to plug them in before you turn on the PC. And it acts like a mouse. And sorry, I don't have my webcam right now, but what you'll see here is my trackball actually controlling. Uh, the, the mouse because it acts as a mouse in this game uh, and the trackball becomes your mouse. So now that we got that plugged in, let's launch the game and I'm going to launch it through RetroPie. So what you're going to see here is just me launching emulation station through RetroPie. I'm going to scroll down to GT406. I haven't done any metadata changes and don't worry about this second file. That's just the CHD file that's showing up for right now. We're going to open this up and I'm just going to let it open and you can see it run. Again, LR MAME is what I had to use. I tried 2010, it didn't work. I tried Advanced MAME, did not launch. It only launched on LR MAME. You might have different success with a different ROM. This is the one that I, I got to work. Okay, now, uh, first things first, if you wanna change some of the settings in this game, uh, I noticed the volume was really low when I started, so I hit F2 went down to volume settings. I'm using my keyboard actually right now and turned it up a little bit to about 60%. So I uh, did that and that should help you get some good volume. You can even go higher then just exit to back to the menu. And obviously you can go through all these other settings if you want to do uh, other settings, but be careful in uh, these settings as well. Now, if your mouse isn't working, the first thing you're going to need to do is go into RetroArch. And I say mouse, but I mean your trackball. Your trackball probably won't work until you go to Quick Menu, Options, and depending on which MAME core you're running, now again, I'm running LR MAME, you're going to want to find the one that says Enable In-Game Mouse. So you can see right here, uh, you need to make sure this is on. I think some other emulators like Advanced MAME may say Mouse something. I can't remember exactly. Mouse Enabled. 
something like that. Just turn it on and uh, you'll be good to go there. Now I'm going to show you a website at the end here. I'll, I'll link it and show you briefly some of the tips and tricks they say for getting a trackball to work well. But basically they do have some retro arch settings such as driver. Uh, they kind of say put it on input driver UDEV. I'm leaving it on X because my keyboard doesn't work with UDEV and I need my keyboard right now for this video. They also say to go to input and Make sure when you go to input user one bind, binds that user one mouse index is zero. Now, when we get back into the game here, uh, you may notice the audio is a little off. I mean, that could be because I'm running OBS and trying to record here at the same time. But really, you can mess with some of the audio settings in RetroArch, including the uh, sample audio rate um, or VSync, uh, etc. Maybe get some better sound. I don't really have problems when I'm not running OBS with this. Um, but you might find some stuttering or some uh, bad audio. Now, getting back to the trackball, one tip here that uh, may help you is to hit tab and launch some of your main menu options. You're gonna wanna go down to analog controls, hit enter, and here are some uh, different settings for your trackball here. One field that I thought was good to adjust was to go up on the track X and Y sensitivity here. Um, you can mess around with those and sample a few different ones to see what you like best. Uh, you can also do the Y digital speed um, as well, you know, as uh, X digital speed. The track X reverse, I would not leave turn that on because that reverses left and right basically, um, but you do leave track Y reverse on. Now, the other thing with the uh, trackball is that the speed or the distance that you're going to hit is going to depend on your mouse speed in your uh, window settings or your Linux settings. So if you turn the speed of your mouse up, you're going to be hitting the ball, you know, 400 yards if you turn it all the way up. So don't do that. Um, but you can adjust some settings in there as well. So let's hit uh, some buttons here to put some credits in. Let's bring my trackball over, and I don't have it mounted, but you can see I can go up and down with uh, player one. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard, and again. If you have buttons set up, obviously all your buttons would work, but again, I'm doing this on a PC, um, but maybe you have an arcade build. I'm just going to hit Mystic Hills and play um, We're here at Mystic Hills, hit 18 and holes and move forward here. And here we go. We're going to go back and hit. Nice drive. And see, I probably have my speed up a little bit too much. I really didn't hit that too hard, but I went, you know, 300 and something yards. And... You know, I have a little problem with left and right on some sometimes on this. It just will stop. It hasn't been too bad after I messed with a couple of those settings. He'll be taking the putt. And putting sometimes he, he doesn't go forward sometimes on my trackball. So if you guys can can figure out uh, that and see how I can get better settings here, um, sometimes they stop in the backswing. Um, but again, see like that. So, but that's just my uh, my my inability to know uh, best settings for a trackball here, you know. And there we go. And I'm going to show you these this website and uh, these tricks for setting up uh, better trackball settings. Let's go back to desktop so I can get to that web page and show you those tips. Okay, before we get into the tips and tricks for uh, setting up your trackball. I want to go over two videos I'm going to link because they may be very useful to you. This first one here is how to set up USB trackball in RetroPie, uh, regardless of whether you're doing uh, Golden T406 and you RetroPie in a Pi. This video still will help you with trackball. Basically, he goes over enabling the trackball with a manual configuration because if you turn on RetroArch uh, enable mouse, it doesn't work. There's a manual fix that he shows you in here which is basically going into the config file right here and enabling, as you can see here, mouse uh, with the designated emulator. Now on mine, I would have put just MAME-MAME because I wasn't using 2003 or 2010. I was just using LR MAMES. Now the second video I want to show you is this uh, one by this gentleman, Eldon226, as I referenced. Uh, he goes over a good trick. Get rid of the slow lagginess uh, of fast moves on a trackball and it references pull rate and he does an excellent job here of explaining it and showing it and fixing it. So here we go, we're uh, at this RetroPie website. And if you scroll down through this, you're gonna see a bunch of tips on uh, helping you set up your trackball uh, basically as a mouse. 
But a couple of the ones I wanted to uh, explain really quick that would help you get your trackball working better is one, the sensitivity here. Each game may require adjustments uh, in sensitivity. I showed you this into the MAME GUI, uh, opening that and adjusting the sensitivity. And the other one here is pull rate. Now, pull rate isn't so important uh, in Golden Tee. I found it works pretty well, but there's a lot of other games where pull rate is important. And basically, you update your command line.txt file, this command right here. Other than that, if you have some good tips on how to get your trackball working great for Golden Tee, please leave them in the comments so everybody else can see. But again, guys, this is Golden Tee for 2006, and it won't run on many single board computers. Uh, so make sure you're aware of that before you try running this on a Pi. But good luck, and as always, thanks for watching the Rexer Show. Leave questions or comments below, and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again.